Hey Virgo, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're delving into the person on your mind, okay? What's going on with them? Take it if it's your story, leave it if it isn't. Any and everything that has to do with myself or the channel will be down below in the description box. I do want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support for the channel, myself, any and everything that got to do with me or the channel is greatly appreciated, okay? So let's go ahead and delve into the energy crowning uh, the person on Virgo's mind. Please and thank you. So this person has you heavy in their thoughts, okay? I feel like this person is currently trying to manifest their ideas, okay? Heavy mercury energy, okay? Um, this person is having problems, though. They're, they're having some type of inner conflict that's frustrating them, okay? They feel as though that they can't um, bring these thoughts and these ideas to manifestation, all right? This person... Um, is really in an optimistic type of energy, okay, uh, where they are attracting opportunities to themselves, but yet they haven't still broken out of this cycle. Like, I don't feel like they have actually uh, done the thing that they're trying to do here. Okay, it's something that this person is trying to manifest. This person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this person wants to communicate with you uh, in the future. It's like they're planning for that as well. Um, in the current moment, this person could be really trying to work on their well-being, trying to work on their diet, some type of routine that they have going on on the daily basis. Okay, um, this person is really trying to lay down a strong foundation um, for themselves. And if they have children, they're trying to um so, uh, like solidify a home some of them could be buying a new home okay others of them could just be in this moving energy or just trying to save money for like a rainy day as well this person could be a sagittarius they could have sagittarius in the sixth or the fourth house okay this is somebody that is normally in an optimistic type of energy okay but they're looking for something more okay this person wants a relationship they want to balance out a relationship with you as well and they're willing to surrender to the unknown um, no matter how it may go okay i feel like this person is on the verge of reaching out to you okay virgo for the person on Virgo's mind, what can I tell them? Okay, this person is in a Three of Pentacles energy, all right? They are working as a team with you, okay? With the Page of Swords, they're really actually watching who is working with you. This person is watching you closely, especially if you have a social media. It's like they're even, like, if you don't um have, like, a social media presence that they're aware of, it's like they're even trying to, like, read in between the lines right now to see if you're dealing with anyone else. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles here, this person is, it's like they, they think you're single, you know, they think you're building your finances, but they are not really sure about that. With the King of Pentacles here, I feel like this individual is watching you long and hard, okay? They're really trying to see, like, what do you give to? With the Four of Pentacles here, this person sees that you're kind of holding back financially, okay? And they want to know, like, what do you have going on in your personal world, you know? With the Two of Cups here, there's that energy of this person wanting to know, like, you know, um, Virgo acts like they're single. You know, it seems like they're single, but behind the scenes, it's like they're saving money to send for their kids that are away. You know, it's like some type of energy where they're all in your business, Virgo, the person on your mind. And they're trying to see, like, well, why do you got to save all your money or why are you doing this you know they're looking more into you with the temperance card here and i feel like you are very good at balancing your emotions as well you know like you don't really have many wants you know or like many needs like oh i need these pair of shoes or i need this and that you know but yet this person sees that you're still well put together and it's like they're trying not to show their cards here that they're really trying to see why you're holding back you know and, and why you move the way that you move this person definitely feels like you have some type of family 
you know, that you're hiding. That's what this person feels like. You know, they're like, why can't Virgo get up and do this with me? Why can't, you know, you're always holding back and saving for this. You know, this person is all in your business, right? They want to know, like, who else is making you happy? Because I don't know much about you. You know, Virgo, the person on your mind wants to know more about you. Okay, and they're really trying to not show that, you know, they're kind of pressed over it with the Queen of Wands here. This could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries, or they could want to know if you have separated from a Leo Sagittarius Aries. Okay, with the Six of Wands here, I feel like this individual um, wants you to be out in the open about who you're dealing with. You know, that's what all of this seems about, like all around, you know, they're like, well, I want to offer you something. It looks like this person wants to offer you something, Virgo. But at the same time, you know, they're all in your business. Like, well, what's going on with you? And they're not for sure that um, you're being all the way honest about your home life. You know, this person maybe even wants to know, like, why haven't I been over to your house? You know, with the King of Cups here, I feel like you are holding back. Um, well, I'm sorry. I feel like this person is holding back, you know, how they're feeling. Could be a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like they feel like you're holding back your emotions, how you're feeling. They feel like you're playing games by not telling them everything. Yeah, this person is six of pentacles. They're wondering, are they getting the short end of the stick here? And they're about to speak up and say something to you about it, you know? This person wants more stability with you. They maybe want um, a type of commitment with you. We did see that earlier as well. Yeah, with the knight of wands in reverse, this person wants to slow you down. Like, tell me more. Yeah, ten of swords. They want to put a stop to whatever sneaky behavior is going on whatever they think is going on they want to put a stop to that with the magician card here it's like this person um i'm gonna tell you now they're very controlling this individual and you may start to see that with the judgment card here i really feel as though um you're gonna get frustrated with this lack of trust you know yeah with the emperor card here this person uh you don't like the way that they're coming towards you Virgo, I feel like this person is coming towards you in a disrespectful manner. And it's just like, check yourself before you come at me. Just because we're dealing with each other or just because you're kind of in my life doesn't mean you get to come in and come at me any type of way. Yeah, with the Page of Wands, I feel like this person, they kind of reach out a little passionate, a little too passionate. You know, they kind of come at you about what you're doing. You know, this is the type of person like, well, you said you were working. Uh, why doesn't it look like you do this and that? And how can you talk on your phone when you're working? You must not really be working. And it's just like, well, maybe your job is a little bit more low key. Maybe you're on call, you know, and until you're on call, you know, you can be on the phone. You know, it's something like that where this person puts the foot in their mouth. Yeah, with the seven of cups, they really don't know what's going on here, but they just letting their mind run along with it, with whatever pops into it, you know, whatever ideas pop into their head. You know, this person is locked up or they're about to be, or they're just in that strong eight of swords energy where they can't seem to get out of their head. See, same shit, different day, but it came out in reverse. This person is feeling like they're doing something to, um, try to avoid a situation, but in fact, they're causing a situation. They're causing you to pull back even more. This person could be uh, a spiritual hater. Okay. Bad reputation. This person could like be hating on you spiritually. They could just be like, you're not really like that. Maybe you just have like, like, you know how somebody try to tell you how you are, you know, they just assume, you know, and this person is all in their head about what they think you're doing, you know? Yeah, what pops out, the spirit is saying, you really dodged a bullet, okay? If you're not dealing with this person no more, you literally dodged a fucking bullet, okay? This is a negative individual, and they think kind of negative, you know? Yeah, confused. 
this individual is confused. You know, they don't, they don't know the truth. Okay. And the way that they're going about it is not the right way. See, wasting time stuck, no changes. I feel like this is an individual that is not going to change their ways no time soon. Okay. They could even start to do scarcity tactics, trying to threaten you um, into saying some type of truth here. I feel like this person is haunted by their own memories and flashbacks from past situations, you know, and it's kind of bleeding over into this. This person is definitely on your social media some type of way. They're trying to see who's coming commenting on your social media, who talks to you, you know, this, that, and the next is a very type of um, codependent energy a little bit, or somebody that lacks a lot of confidence. Yeah, I feel like you're going to choose to be uninterested in this uh, individual. They're definitely giving groupy vibes, okay, and you're going to reject them. So what can I tell Virgo before I close out this read, please and thank you, spirit? Okay, two came out. It says, you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you, con as you contemplate the past and the present, you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. It also says romance blooms as you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of flowers, love letters, and poems read aloud and all are in your future. Marriage proposals, weddings, and past life connections are possible. Someone new is romantic, dreamy, and emotional may enter into your life. This person could be an artist who's an idealist about love. So this could be somebody else that is coming into your life. Okay, I feel like you've done the work. Okay, and now opportunities present themselves in the current moment and in the future. Okay, and one um, individual is going to come towards you that is very creative. Okay, and this person is in the energy of loving, wanting to give love, and able to receive love. And I feel like they're going to come towards you, and that may be another uh, love experience. It may lead to marriage or a higher commitment. The bottom deck is your plans are on target, and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Till then, peace and love.